let's jump into making a dictionary with our amino acids and running an analysis on the entire chromosome telling us how many amino acids and let's run some different amino acids in there I'm not gonna make a dictionary with all the amino acids in there because I'm not trying to take up your whole night uh, but if you want to type them all in you go for it I don't know if your computer's gonna be able to run that quickly but conceptually it should look exactly the same uh, in Python the dictionary has keys and values so a regular list only has one set of values a dictionary will have keys and values so the keys are on the left the values are on the right the keys are on the left the values on the right the reason why we're using methionine here is because methionine only has one option that's why I picked methionine that's why I'm picking uh, tryptophan here because methionine and tryptophan they're the go-to's when you're trying to make a probe don't don't think that this is anything uh, different than making a probe because we don't want we want to look for sequences that only have one possibility uh, and it's just easier and I threw lysine in there for giggles because I'm a funny guy so let's go ahead and let's do this for statement and for I for I in AA so oh gosh I didn't capitalize that so if you uh, if you're new to Python four statements are a little bit more complicated than what we've been doing uh, but really what it is is it's just gonna run the search over and over and over again uh, instead of just stopping on just doing one of them it's gonna do everything in the list one at a time and then it's gonna give you the results of it so this I it could technically be anything you wanted to but it stands for iterating um, in this case which means just happening over and over again and then in this library right here or this dictionary right here it's gonna run all the keys it's gonna default I defaults just when you type in print I it'll default to the just these keys here so what you're gonna wanna do is we don't wanna print just the keys we wanna print what's in the ch20 file or variable oh my mind went blank there no we want to count what's in there count okay um so there we have it now that looks a little messy though and I know what you're thinking is oh wow that you might be looking up and trying to see how much how much methionine or how much tryptophan is in uh, chromosome 20 right now but let me tell you what if it hits if there's if there's five let me use this tryptophan right here or not this tryptophan, this lysine right here uh, as an example and that's why I really put this one in is uh these A's, if there's a set of four A's in a row, it's gonna hit twice on this. It's gonna hit r one count for the first AAA and two the second count for the AAA A if there was four A's in the in the sequence. So these numbers aren't a hundred percent accurate. It doesn't mean that there um there's definitely this many methionines in there, but this is a quick way to get an idea of how many times ATG is p even possible. So that's how many times this is even possible of happening in the in this file. So it's still good information and we're going to we're going to start filtering it out little by little so that we understand uh, what we're getting here. And let's make it look nice. So right messing around with the caps okay so the I regularly will mean the keys but we don't always want the keys to come up and if you want to call the values to come up remember the values are on the right the keys are on the left you need to bracket that if you bracket it in and call the library it will give you the um, It'll, it'll give you the, the values. So 
let's go ahead and do this and basically what I did here is I called the key and then I called the value so that it's right next to each other so we know the possibilities of these amino acids in in our file